What's going on guys? My name's Theo Atrix and today I'm presenting to you guys how to get the full corrupt armor outfit in old school. Now this armor requires one defense to wear so anyone can wear it and it gives the same stats as iron. So that makes it a pretty cool armor set for pures to train with. But take note, if you die with corrupt armor and lose it on death, you do have to go back to these people that I'm about to show in this video to get those items back. So the items you're gonna need to get the whole set are one oak log, a bowl of hot water, a pestle and mortar, regular bones, a vial, an acorn, a soft clay, leather boots, and an air rune. I also really recommend getting a Camelot teleport, a Varrock teleport, an amulet of glory to go to Al Karid, and a combat bracelet to go to the monastery. So to start things off, you're gonna wanna go to Camelot. From here, run east all the way to Sears Village into this house here, which is south of the pub that is in Sears Village, and then talk to Fantuti Fanstui Farsight. As soon as you click to talk on him, he'll instantly talk about the corrupt armor. He'll take your oak logs and vial and give you the corrupted shield. Next, make your way to Horvik in Varrock, which is the armor store right next to the Varrock teleport. Now, once you're here, provided you have all of the items with you, just click on Horvik and he'll instantly talk about that as well. He goes over to hand you the corrupted plate body. Next, use your Amulet of Glory to Al Karid, and then from here you want to go to the Plate Legs store, which is located northeast of the teleport location. Alright, so once you're here, once again, talk to Louis, and he'll give you the Plate Legs or Plate Skirt if your character is a female. And lastly, for the helmet, you need to make your way to the Monastery. Take note that you do not need 31 prayer to do this, since the guy is downstairs of the monastery and you speak to Abbot Langley, who is located on the eastern side, and of course he says it straight away again and gives you the helmet. So yeah guys, a very very quick video today, but it is one of my goals to cover as many things in old school as possible, and this is definitely one of them. And I'm pretty sure not that many people really knew exactly how to get this full corrupted armor, so there you go. Before we end today's video, we do have to do clip of the day. Today we have some more Skatizo luck, but this time on a hardcore Iron Man, which I would be terrified of doing. Hardcore Moby Dioc got the Skodos pet on his first kill ever. Now, yes, the drop rate for the Skatizo pet is 1 in 65, which isn't all that rare, but the fact that this is on a hardcore Iron Man makes it incredible. Anyways, guys, if you learned something, be sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching and have a nice day.